support teams such as yourself to know that there's these teams that Man, got that real big glory, and you guys are good, but yeah. now you're going to get to play them and improve yourselves too. Well, it is. I mean, it's there's only going to be one crown, and um, everybody else after that, it really, you know, having one championship, it really doesn't matter if you don't win at all. And I think the one thing that we're going to keep pressing on our kids right now is you got to improve daily. And we have a tough non conference schedule, which I hope will prepare us for conference play. We start on the road at South Florida, so it's going to be a hostile environment there. We're going to play in a tournament on the road um, in Las Vegas where we're going to play Texas on the road. Um, but that's the environment that we need to be put in because South Carolina is going to sell out. Mississippi State is going to have sell out. So just making sure that we're doing everything we can to prepare our team to be successful come January. There's been so much talk the last several years about the lack of Final Four teams coming from the SEC since the Candace Parker years. What did it mean to the conference to have that All-SEC Final this past year to kind of put that a little bit to rest? Um, it, it, it says a lot about um, that not only did we have two representing us in the Final Four, but we typically get anywhere from seven to eight teams in the tournament. and. All of the teams that I've been affiliated with here at LSU, we've always felt that the playing in our regular season in the SEC play, we just just really go at each other. And it's so competitive in that January and February. And there's games that feel like you could be playing in the Final Four in the January and February months. So, you know, just making sure that, you know, we have the proper recovery, that when you go to the SEC <clears throat> tournament, um, you, you have to finish in the top four. It will be extremely difficult to play four games, five games, and win an SEC championship. Because um, the teams that I've taken to Sweet 16s, that's what we've been able to do is finish in the top four. And so your road to victory is a little bit easier. Um, but we're all going to um, be supportive of each other and we're all going to come out and compete because we love the fact that the SEC has a national champion and we would love to repeat that. It seems like there's more depth in the league maybe that went when you play. It seems more top heavy when you play. Why is there more depth in the league top to bottom and, and why is that you think? I, I do feel like there's more depth in the league and we touched on this earlier because you know you know you got a lot of players that are going different places. You can't just say that a kid from the state of Georgia is going to stay in the state of Georgia now or you know, a kid from Louisiana, what have you, they're, they're, they're branching out and they're playing in, in different regions of the country. So you're going to have a little bit more diversity, if you will, on your roster, as opposed to probably when I, back then, you had a lot more kids from that same state. Um, so I, I think it's a combination of them playing um, summer ball and, and, and being exposed to, to more than just your in-state school. Um, and I think the fact that they're able to, through technology, through Twitter, through Facebook, Snapchat, you're able to get a lot of information from these schools coming into you without you ever setting foot on their campus. I had asked Stephanie White earlier about 